In today's video, we're going to make a flip-flop with a tab tag, a post, and we need to use a postage stamp, a paper ruffle, and a playing card. Whoop. Let's get to it. Hi everybody, it's Julie. And today we are making a flip flop with tab tag. And that is a way to add more journaling space to your journal. I needed to come up with a way to add more journaling space because I tend to really embellish my journals and I needed more a way to add more journaling space. So we're gonna be doing that and then we need to make sure that we're using the playing card the paper ruffle and a postage stamp so I wanted to show you I do have this flip-flop set up it's just a flip-flop sitting in it'll be on a page in the journal it's been distressed but we need a page oh, this one. that one will probably be good that has a um, tab um, on it so we're going to go ahead and we're going to fold this page again this uh, digital is the red roses yellow birds kit and those that finish their February journal receive this as their gift. And I think we'll go with this part right here. We're going to fold that over. Okay. And um, I'm going to use that one because it is pretty plain. Okay. Um, so we need to add our flip-flop in here first First thing. So I've taken a regular lined paper and I've cut it down to be eight and a half so that it'll, it will fit. I've folded it in half this way. Okay, I'm going to go ahead. I want the red line in front. Okay, so we ended up with that being kind of kind of big, but that's okay. We're going to go ahead and we'll cut down our paper here so that it will fit. Okay. And that's okay. This way we cut off these holes. Okay. So I'm going to put this in the cutter and cut down. Wow. It's like stuck in there. Uh, We'll cut it down so that it will fit. Make sure we're straight. Okay, we'll save that. We might be able to use it for something. Okay, so we have folded our paper in half. Then we have measured to see that it's going to fit and not get stuck in the crease. This is where we'll be binding the journal. I like the, having that edge there. Okay, we're going to go ahead and open this up. And I'm going to go ahead and put my finger down and I'm going to fold this over, giving me between a quarter and like three eighths of a little um, piece there. Okay. Then we're going to fold it back over to the half. Okay. So I folded it back to the half and I'm going to add glue on this little um, column that we've made here. Okay. And that is going to fit right in here. We're going to line it up with the edge right on the corner and lay it down. Okay. Okay. So we have this page. Then we have all that writing space that we're going to be able to use. And we want to get any extra glue that might have flipped out. 
okay? You can add a second or even a third piece in here. Um, works really, really, really good. I did do a second one on this one. So you just do the same thing and you place the second one on top, okay? So I took this one and brought it into the fold and glued it down. So that gave me all that. So you could you could use like plain paper and have more space to draw. You could use graph paper and have more, um, like I use the graph paper to plot my garden. And so you could use, you could do that. Okay. So remember, this is going to go into the, um, is where you're going to bind. And now we have this opening. So we need to add a tab tag. Okay. So that is what we're going to put right here. This, we're going to put a tab tag on here. And I have, um, I have this piece of, this is some of the cardstock that I've been using. And I think I'll go ahead and figure out its size. And the first thing I'm going to do is cut the other side straight because apparently it looks like I cut it with scissors. So I want the whole tab straight. Okay. And then we'll come and cut where I pinched it. <clears throat> okay, so that will give me that will give me that. Okay? Just like that. Okay, I, I like that. Okay, so we have to use a postage stamp, a playing card, and a paper ruffle. So I have a digital, another one. Okay, this is one of the large tag pages. I want this piece right here. This has been fun. This, um, particular large tag has been a fun one to work with. It's different, um, but being able to, to use this, the, the edge here has been really, really cool. I'm going to go ahead and cut it off. And let's see. We're gonna we're gonna put mount this on here or layer it, and we're gonna cut this right there. Okay, so we'll put this in the cutter. Line that up and cut it. That's going to give me a nice, little panel to add onto the cardstock. Okay. So I'm going to add this onto the cardstock and this all by itself would be really pretty on our, as our tab. Okay. Go ahead, figure out when I'm just eyeballing where it should be. Okay. There we go. So that will come over and hang out on here. Okay. And I'm going to go ahead and mark this. Mark this. And I'm marking it to figure out where I want to put the glue on it. Because I'm going to go ahead and make this so that 
it can have a pocket from the other side. And I can fill it or not. The person that is using this journal, that would give them a place. And I like to put pockets wherever I can because I love pockets and I cannot lie. Then I'm going to line those lines back up and I'll know that Okay, so there is my um, tab tag, okay? And now we have to go ahead and add the other items, okay? But I wanna show you how this, this will go in the journal, okay? Oh, wow, that's kinda cool because it's, it's like that same bird, <laughs> bird and bird. Okay, so I think I'm probably going to want to add one of our paper clips here. Sometimes it, well, I usually put them on the other side. That's, and that could, we still could do that. No, it would still go on that side. I could turn it upside down and have it there, but then the bird would be upside down. Okay, so, so just to give you an idea how it would fit into a journal. Okay. Okay, so we need to add those other items. Um, I have some paper ruffle here that we've been using in this journal. I made them ahead of time. And they are the edge of um, my book page. And the one thing that's kind of interesting is normally I would put this towards the outside and so probably have to put it here okay because we have the flip-flop okay so we'll add that to this side and I'm just gonna read read my words it's talking about Venezuela and Costa Rica, so I think. I'll put that on this side. I'm going to line my stitching up just off the edge. Okay. Okay, so there's that, and it will still be able to open. So very, very good. Okay, have a little glue down here. Okay, so we've added our paper ruffle and next we're gonna wanna add our playing card. I'm thinking adding it, ooh, I kinda like it down here so that we still have our rows. So I think I think we'll go ahead and add our playing card down here. It kind of helps with our collage, and because the playing card, um, because of the sur the way the surface is, I'm going to go ahead and use my stapler. Okay, now up here, I just want to make sure that I'm not in the way of the pocket. Okay, so my playing card has been added and um, now we just need a stamp. And I'm going to go ahead and make one because I don't have any bird stamps right now. And I think we'll go with the, the yellow guy right here. Or we could do, you know what, let's do this one. So this is the one of the mini ephemera pages. Okay, so mini as in M-I-N-I, -I, they're small, and they are great to use in so many different ways. So um, this particular digital has images, the birds, and it does some of the, some of the pages and things, but it's mostly got the birds and the flowers. The lovely Red Roses digital kit that you've seen me use 
it has all the the postcards so lots of postcards in that one so i have i have this piece and this was for so that i can remember um what was in the peter rabbit journal and i'm gonna go ahead and use this and make my stamp out of this piece of paper you know, the one thing that happens is you don't end up with a lot of paper to throw away. Everything becomes, oh, I could use that. Well, there's this little piece on here that I can use. So I, I saved it. I actually used it to, um, to do some uh, distressing and stamping on. So I'm going to use my postage scissors. and cut around the outside of this, giving me the look of the stamp. So I've seen people use like the, the hair cutting scissors, the layering the hair cutting scissors, that works really cool for this. Um, also uh, zigzag scissors, like the little tiny ones work really well for that. And, but there, that gives me a handmade, a, a DIY postage stamp right there. And I'm going to bring that and put that down here. Okay. With our little, yeah, I'm going to put it like that. Okay. And we did find that the fabric tag stuck to the postcard or to the playing card. So, I'm gonna just use use that. I'm gonna go at an angle so that you actually, so it stands out. And that will be my decorations for the tab tag. The tab tag being this look as it sticks on here, to me looked like a tab. So we're calling it a tab tag. You can have it be smaller, like we could have just done this little piece. And um, remember that on this one, I did go ahead and I left a place for, um, for something to go there. Um, sometimes I will also put like a tuck or a pocket back here, giving um, a little bit more journaling space. So that is my flip-flop. Remember, we've got our flip-flop in here. So there's our flip-flop. And we've added it to this page and then added our tab tag here. We have our paper ruffle, our postage stamp, and our playing card. And those were our requirements for today. So let's go ahead and pick out what we're doing tomorrow. And so let's see, these, these can go back in our little thing over here. And we'll set this aside. And so in here, I just have a few more things to make. Let's see what we get. A belly band with insert. So that is what we're going to be making and what are we going to be doing with it what are we going to be adding to it we're going to add a fussy cut image lace and music notes so that will be both the belly band and the insert will have a fussy cut image, lace, and music notes. So that will be what we're making for tomorrow. And so I am really having a lot of fun with this, um, trying to figure out what to make and what to use. And so I hope you are having fun with this as well. I did want to let you know that I have some pictures and a little bit of video of the hummingbird babies. It looks like she has two, and so I'll be playing that right after he this. Um, and it looks like the nest in the she shed has three eggs. 
I have taken down the wreath from the front door to put up red, white, and blue. Um, it almost looked like we were going to have another, uh, somebody move into that one. I noticed a couple of the flowers have been picked off the wreath and were on the ground. And I did see a bird checking things out, but I was able to take that down and I'll, so that I can change to, um, my red, bright, red, white, and blue and yellow, um, porch for the summer. I was like, Oh, I need to, I need to do that. So, um, so that's done. I still need to, to spray the, and clean the, the screen door and everything really well and disinfect it. And, um, so yeah, it's pretty interesting around here, all these birds. And, uh, so we'll see, I don't know how I'm going to be able to find out what's going on inside the little house the little bird house, but the noisy bird is still hanging out in that little bird house. So we probably got something going on in there. And all of the birds have been different ones. They've all been different birds. It's been really cool. So thank you for coming along on that adventure and watch for those videos after this one. And we'll be back with the mini challenge in the challenge. Uh, either tomorrow or Wednesday. Um, but also this is this is what we picked as our next um, mayhem video. Find something to celebrate every day. Have an amazing day. I'll see you tomorrow. Bye. Bye bye. Okay, when I was out here a minute ago, the hummingbird was sitting on the edge of her nest. So we are going to see if we can see her. There she is at the top. I don't know if we have babies yet. I'll be watching. There's another one. There she is. There's that baby. At least two.